So I think it's kind of funny that we spend just one day reflecting and being thankful for the stuff that we do have, to then spend the next month or so obsessing over what we don't have and what we want, and then trying to get our friends and our family and our loved ones to buy said things for us. They say money doesn't buy love, but it buys a shit ton of things that make it really easy to love someone. And you know what? I am guilty of it too. Guilty as fucking sin. Shit, I even buy myself the occasional Christmas present, or two, or five. But try as I might, I can't buy myself everything that I want. So, that's why in the spirit of holiday greed and avarice, I'm going to share with all of you my Christmas wish list. First off, let me say that I fucking love my new iPhone 5. If it was legal in this state, I would fucking marry it. But getting accessories for this little bastard is a biblical pain in the ass. First off, I don't know exactly what the fuck Apple is waiting for in terms of making accessories. I know they created those little ear pod thingies, but that's about it. The other day, I go to the Apple store looking for a case for my phone. I figure of all the places to buy accessories, why not go to the source, right? They told me to go to Best Buy to look for cases. What? Oh, and God forbid I was looking for a speaker dock, I might as well go into the Apple store looking for the fucking Ark of the Covenant. I don't know why, but Apple feels the need to solve world hunger before they can get around to making accessories for the best-selling smartphone of all time. Meanwhile, if you're lucky enough to find someone who makes iPhone 5 accessories, they're going to charge you out the ass for it. You can get a speaker dock for an iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S for around 50 bucks. But try to get the same thing for an iPhone 5 and it's going to cost easily three times as much. Probably because it's powered by the heart of an orphan or something, I don't know or phoenix tail feathers or dragon heartstrings or whatever. So yes, first item on my Christmas wish list is accessories for my iPhone 5, but more importantly, I just want Apple to get their shit together and fix the fucking maps already. Next on my list is not something that I necessarily want so much as it is something that I've apparently been needing for years and had no idea. An ugly Christmas sweater. I'm not sure at exactly what point this whole ugly sweater party trend caught on, but this year everyone and their mother is throwing an ugly Christmas sweater party. Seriously, without exaggeration, Will and I have been invited to at least six of them thus far. And that would be all well and good if it wasn't for the fact that you can't just have any old ugly Christmas sweater at this party. These parties are pretty much a contest to see who can have the most tacky and outrageous getup. They have to have patterns and ribbons and sequins and fucking bows and lights and shit. And here's the other thing that really perplexes me. The people that throw these parties are normally impeccably stylish and tasteful all throughout the rest of the year. And yet these same people are just shocked when I tell Tell them that I do not have an obnoxiously tacky piece of wardrobe with which to attend their party. So I guess I need to obtain one somehow. The third one's a little bit of a long shot, but I do believe in the occasional Christmas miracle. A deal to avoid the fiscal cliff. I'm sure you've been hearing talk about it on the news. Democrats and Republicans can't seem to agree on a deal to stop the fiscal cliff. Mostly because finding said deal would involve working together and compromising. Now, I may not have a degree in law or politics or economics or whatever the fuck degree these people have, but I did watch some of the Land Before Time movies when I was a kid. So I know that when the shit hits the fan, you're gonna have to work together with other people to avoid getting eaten by a T-Rex. T-Rex, of course, being a metaphor in this situation. My guess is that the peeps on Capitol Hill haven't seen these movies because they had parents that didn't love them. Yet, nevertheless, we've decided to put them in charge anyway. And apparently, they don't teach classes on how to play well with others at fucking politician academy. Even though it's the only way that they're supposed to fix the problem and avoid certain disaster. So in other words, we're fucked. So I hope you'll all join me in praying to Jesus and to Santa Claus and to fucking Hanukkah Harry to come and deliver us from evil, if you know what I mean. It sure as shit is not going to happen in another way. Oh, and while we're at it, we might as well do the same for the Supreme Court, considering that now they're going to decide some pretty monumental cases on marriage equality. Next, if someone could be so kind as to send me all of the copies of Will I Am's new album, that would be great. So then I can dispose of them properly and ensure that no human being will ever have to be subjected to that kind of torture. Don't so much do it for me 
as for the good of humanity. I know he did a song with Britney and it was alright, but let's be real. The only thing that Britney contributed to that song was a really bad British accent that came out of nowhere and an audio sample from another Britney song. I want another drink. Hold on a second. Speaking of musicians that piss me off, the next item on my wish list is a decent man. Not for me, because I'm covered in that department. It's for Taylor Swift. I'll admit, I thought the whole angsty teenage girl breakup song cutesy routine bit was fun for a while. She's how old? 14? 16 tops? Exactly how much does someone that young know about love and relationships and heartbreak? And yet she supposedly knows enough to have written several songs and albums on the subject. Now I know what a lot of you are gonna say, Oh, but RJ, she dated the guys from One Direction and a whole other bunch of boys that I don't care about. But how do we know this for sure? I get the feeling that if I were to accidentally bump into Taylor Swift just on the sidewalk, that three months later I would have an angsty song written about me, talking about, You heard me! How could you! This girl needs a real man in her life. And continuing with this motif of chicks who pissed me off, I'm not advocating violence against anyone, but if someone were to send me the head of Ann Coulter in a box, I would not be entirely opposed to it. This woman makes a living saying the most deluded, offensive bullshit in as many public forums as possible. I'd say that she didn't get enough attention from her parents, but I am 95% sure she was hatched in an incubator. Because if you look at her, she looks as though she's part Velociraptor. Why anyone would continue to give her airtime is completely and totally beyond me. And nevertheless, they keep on doing it. So, if the story of Medusa taught me anything, there's really only one way to put a stop to that. And speaking of people giving me head, I want Tom Daly. Not a photo or a poster of Tom Daly, not Tom Daly memorabilia, I want Tom Daly. He weighs like virtually nothing, so he should not be that hard to kidnap. Plus, he's really, really flexible, so it should not be that difficult to fit him into a box. I normally don't oogle over guys who have just turned 18. I prefer men who have finished hitting puberty and maybe have a tattoo or two. But Tom Daly is this perfect blend of adorable and mischievous. Look at that smile! I can't tell if he just finished acing his spelling test or committing a felony. He's not quite a twink because he's got all that body hair. Plus, he's like allergic to wearing clothes. Oh, and let's not forget about that accent. So yes, for Christmas, I want Tom Daly. And if that can happen, then Flesh Jack needs to get on that shit, if you know what I mean. So yeah, all of those, maybe a couple pairs of nice underwear, a nice pair of boots or two, some new running shoes, mm. and then perhaps, you know, a nicer camera. That's all of the stuff on my wish list for Christmas. Feel free to share your wish list in the comment section below or post it as a video response. I pretty much approve all of them, so feel free to send them my way. As always, if you're going to drink in your videos, make sure you're of age. It is optional though. But make sure you enjoy yourselves this holiday season and stay safe. Try not to eat or drink too much. And take care of yourselves until I see you again for another video, which will be fairly soon. But until then, my name's RJ. Thanks for watching.